Welcome to the Uncomplicating Weight Loss Podcast. My name is Eva Rodriguez, proud Latina, single mom, and certified integrative nutrition, health, weight loss, and mindfulness coach. I'm passionate about teaching women how to balance being busy and healthy without complicated rules or restrictions. On this podcast, I'll be simplifying weight loss concepts and mindset shifts so that you can be confident in your curves. It won't always be easy, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Before we dive in, as promised, for a limited time, I am opening up just a few one-on-one coaching spots to help you finish 2021 strong. I'm currently accepting applications for eight weeks of private weight loss coaching with me, which will include a customized weight loss program that works for you, your lifestyle, and your schedule. This is perfect for you if you're an action taker and are not willing to wait until January 1st to finally lose the weight and prioritize your health. If you're an emotional eater, if you don't know what types of exercises you should be doing for your body type, if you don't know what healthy foods actually are, if you're stressed and overwhelmed, if you can't shake your food cravings, if you're tired of losing and gaining those same 15 pounds over and over again, if your mindset sabotages your weight loss goals and you finally are ready to feel confident in your body, this program is for you. Due to my personalized approach to coaching, space is very limited and by application only. To apply, just click on the link in my show notes or go to eva.fit and click on -on one-on-one coaching. The holiday season can be one of the hardest times of the year to get through without sabotaging yourself. So I am here to coach you through it so that you don't end up at the end of the year even more frustrated. One of the best gifts you can give yourself is to not wait until January 1st to finally lose the weight you've been wanting to lose. I only open up private coaching spots a few times a year, so the time is now. To apply, just click on the link in my show notes. I only have a few slots available, so if you don't see the link anymore, it means I've sold out. We start November 1st. Let's finish 2021 strong, my friend. I'll see you there. In today's episode, I'm going to share one of my favorite tools in my toolkit that I mentioned in last week's episode as being critical in my emotional eating journey. EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, also known as tapping, is what we're going to be talking about today. I'll be using the terms EFT and tapping interchangeably, but they mean the exact same thing, so I don't want that to confuse you. Not only is it a free and simple tool, it's also quick and convenient, so it works really well with a busy schedule. A quick tapping sequence can take just a few minutes, and you're able to start feeling relief right away. As a free bonus, just for my listeners, I've created a tapping video for weight loss and body confidence that you can download on my website at www.eva.fit forward slash tapping. It will also be linked in my show notes. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can use tapping as a health and weight loss tool. And even though at first glance, it may seem like it's a woo-woo thing, just in case you're skeptical, EFT tapping has also been scientifically proven to work, including studies from Harvard Medical School. The main reason tapping is so effective when it comes to weight loss is because it helps you to decrease your cortisol levels so your hormones can support your weight loss. We've talked about how stress and hormones affect weight loss in previous episodes. Well, EFT tapping not only helps with stress, but it also supports you when it comes to keeping up with your healthy lifestyle changes. In addition to helping with food cravings and weight loss, EFT has been proven to effectively resolve a range of issues, including anxiety, emotional issues, eating disorders, autoimmune disease, chronic pain, addiction, limiting beliefs, past traumas, headaches, backaches, insomnia, just to name some. By allowing you to move your energy through and out of your body, tapping impacts your body on a physiological, psychological, emotional, and spiritual level. A study from Harvard Medical School found that similar to meditation, by stimulating the meridian points addressed in acupuncture, acupressure, and EFT, we can reduce cortisol levels significantly. I actually have found that EFT can be especially beneficial for people who struggle with sitting still and meditating because you're physically doing the tapping with your fingertips. So if you struggle with meditating because you can't stop thinking or you can't sit still or you can't focus on your breathing, then... I think you'll love tapping. 
EFT has been used and recommended by some of the most well-known self-development thought leaders like Wayne Dyer, Ayanla Van Zandt, Jack Canfield, Gabrielle Bernstein, Chris Carr, and Louise Hay. So how does EFT work? Well, EFT therapy is based on the combined principles of ancient Chinese acupressure and modern psychology. Research shows that physical pain and disease are closely connected to negative emotions. With this technique, you're literally tapping with your fingertips on specific meridian endpoints on your body while focusing on negative emotions or physical sensations. And this helps to calm the nervous system, rewire your brain to respond in healthier ways, and restore your body's balance of energy. It works similarly to acupuncture, but instead of using needles to apply to your energy points, EFT uses your fingertips tapping on those energy points to apply pressure and move the energy in your body. This tapping sends signals to the part of your brain that controls stress. By stimulating the meridian system through tapping, this can reduce the stress or negative emotions that you feel from whatever issue you're struggling with, and it restores balance to your energy while helping your body get rid of negative emotions and toxic energy that you may be holding on to. I'll briefly explain what meridians are in case you're not familiar. According to traditional Chinese medicine, we have a physical body and we have an energetic body. Our energetic body is made up of meridians or channels, and these meridians act as pathways where qi, prana, and blood flow. The meridians form an invisible structure that resembles a spider web that connects all of our organs. This system transmits information from our body and our mind. Meridians are related to different elements in our body, corresponding organs, and emotional states. So by focusing on a specific issue while tapping on these points, we're sending a signal to the amygdala, which is the area of the brain responsible for our emotions, our memory, and our survival instincts. The amygdala is known as the brain's fear center, where our fight or flight responses originate, alerting other parts of the brain that it senses danger. This in turn initiates the firing off of other brain receptors and the release of specific hormones that allow the body to respond to perceived danger. This creates an overproduction of cortisol, which studies have linked to increased appetite, sugar cravings, and added belly fat. Even mild stress, like worrying about why your jeans fit too tight or worrying that you'll never lose the baby weight, can actually cause your body to go into fight or flight mode. Whenever you're experiencing negative emotions like anger, fear, guilt, or shame, your body perceives it as danger and it starts preparing to either fight off an attacker or take flight, the same way our ancient ancestors had to do if they encountered a tiger in the wild. The stress response was intended to save us from immediate threats, and it activates your body's defense systems. So your adrenaline levels go up, your muscles tighten, your blood pressure, your heart rate, and your blood sugar rise so that you can react quicker. And since your body's energy is being used for self-defense, less essential functions like your digestion either slow down or shut down completely. But if you think about it, your inability to digest food properly because your body thinks you're being attacked now negatively impacts your metabolism and prevents your body from absorbing the nutrients it needs. Without essential nutrients, your body may then trigger a feeling of hunger, not because it actually needs more food, but because the stress response isn't allowing your body to properly digest the food you've already had. So if you're under a constant state of stress, you're constantly stuck in the stress cycle. So you see how even if you're exercising and eating healthy foods, stress can completely derail your weight loss efforts. This is one of the most common responses from my weight loss quiz, by the way. Stress. People don't realize just how much stress can sabotage your weight loss goals and keep you stuck in a plateau. Tapping helps to reprogram your response to these threats by focusing on the negative emotion, whether it's sadness or anger or fear or frustration. And then it sends a signal to the amygdala that we're actually safe and essentially turns off the amygdala, which stops the stress response and allows the brain to be rewired to have a less emotionally charged response to your situation. Tapping utilizes the mind-body connection, combining the concepts that physical pain, disease, and mental well-being are intricately connected to our emotional well-being. So say you're having a stressful day and you're craving chocolate chip cookies. If your brain has been trained to respond to stress by eating chocolate chip cookies, that's probably what you're going to do after a long day. 
But if you take a pause and instead start tapping, you're able to stop that fight or flight response. Your cortisol levels start to go down and you're able to change how your brain reacts to stress and the correlation that it has between stress and chocolate chip cookies. This gives you enough pause to come from a more grounded place. Now you can determine if eating cookies right now is really the best thing to do. Is this really the best way to unwind? Is this really the best way to handle your stress? This starts to train your limbic system to respond differently. This is called neuroplasticity, which is the altering of your brain's pathways. So by training your limbic system to respond to a long day at work in a new way, it changes your neural pathways and trains your brain to react differently than it has in the past. One of the most common things I hear from my emotional eating clients after tapping to clear the root issues causing their stress eating is that they realize that it's actually not about the food. After tapping, they realize that the situations or the foods that once triggered them to overeat start to lose their power. Doesn't mean that they'll never crave something again or they'll never emotionally eat again. It just won't happen as frequently to sabotage their goals. Tapping helps to explore the underlying emotional issues that might be connected to the problems that you're experiencing. The goal with tapping is to realign the body, mind, and spirit in order to let go of negative emotions and the tension that they cause and to move forward in a positive and healing direction. When you do EFT tapping, you're actually bringing up the exact feelings and emotions that you want to clear and focusing on these problems that you want to resolve. So for example, if you're stressed out about something, talking about it out loud while you tap on the meridian endpoints helps to stimulate the system and create a calming sensation that helps prevent these stressful thoughts from triggering a negative response in the future. And it makes way for more positive and empowering thoughts to take the place of the negative ones. By addressing the root causes of your distress, the areas of blocked energy are able to release and flow more naturally. The basic tapping techniques require that you focus on the negative emotion at hand, whether that's fear, an illness, a worry, a bad memory, an unresolved problem, anything that's bothering you. While maintaining your mental focus on this issue, you use your fingertips to tap on each of the nine specific meridian points of the body. Tapping on these meridian points in sequence while concentrating on the negative emotions engages both the brain's limbic system and the body's energy system, encouraging you to feel a sense of safety and resolution. Studies have shown that our brain can be changed at any age and it can form new neural pathways. So this can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. When we experience something that triggers a negative emotion, we create neural pathways that support re-triggering that negative emotion and our brain will start to look for evidence to support this belief that you now have. This is why limiting beliefs can really do a number on us because our brain literally creates a feedback loop that builds those neural pathways. And this is why tapping can be so powerful because you literally have the power in your hands, literally at your fingertips to change this. The reason this works is because you're focusing on dispelling your immediate emotions so that you can start instilling some positive ones in its place. This approach is different from the traditional change your thoughts or think happy thoughts approach. A lot of us struggle with that because it often feels dishonest and inauthentic, right? To go from feeling negative about something to all of a sudden trying to convince yourself to feel positive. This is why you'll always hear me say, strive to go from negative to neutral. Because trying to go from negative all the way to positive, it's not always realistic. And it doesn't always resonate. And this is what makes people kind of turn their nose up to positive thoughts and affirmations and all of that. Because it's like, I don't believe it, right? So I always say, if you can't find a positive thought to replace a negative thought, just find a neutral one. With EFT, you're not tricking yourself into feeling better and you're not trying to hide your feelings. Instead, you're confronting your negative feelings head on and you're offering deep and complete acceptance to your feelings and yourself without judgment. When I first learned about EFT, I was like, wait a minute, I thought we weren't supposed to focus on the negative, right? Because after all, how many times have we heard that if you focus on the negative, you're just going to attract more negativity, right? But with EFT, what we're doing is we're addressing our negative thoughts and feelings with honesty and acceptance instead of trying to brush them under the rug. This helps to clear the emotional dirt away so that you can turn your thoughts and vibrations into positive ones based on loving and accepting yourself. I once heard it explained like this. Imagine you're cleaning your room. You wouldn't just hide all of your trash under your bed, right? 
you would pick up the trash or the laundry or whatever's on the floor or whatever's out of place and you'd put each item in its proper place. So the trash goes in the trash can, your clothes goes in the closet, and that's what you're doing with your emotions when you tap. You're picking each one up, you're looking at it, and you're determining where it needs to go. By doing this, you're actually changing your body's biochemistry and your energy into a more positive direction. So now let's move on to the actual tapping points. So there are nine main tapping points. We start with one point on your hand known as the karate chop point on the outer edge of your hand right under your pinky finger. Now remember, I created a video just for you to download so that you can see me actually going through a tapping sequence. So don't feel like you need to take notes or anything like that. Just make sure you download the video. The other eight points are your eyebrow points, the side of your eye, under your eye, under your nose, your chin, your collarbone, under your arm, and the top of your head. So here's how a basic tapping sequence would work. Number one, you're going to identify the problem that you want to focus on. And then you're going to ask yourself, how do you feel about that problem or that situation right now? And you rate that intensity on a scale of zero to 10, with zero being the lowest and 10 being the highest. Then you're going to say a setup statement. So your setup statement should acknowledge the problem that you want to deal with. And then you're going to follow it with an unconditional affirmation of yourself as a person. So we'll use anxiety around weight loss as an example. You'll start by determining where your intensity is around weight loss anxiety on a scale of zero to 10. And then your setup statement could be, even though I feel so much anxiety around losing weight, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And you're going to say that statement three times while you tap on the side of your hand on your karate chop point. Then you start tapping on each of the meridian points as you talk through your feelings. The basic sequence usually takes about five to 10 minutes. After you've completed the sequence, you focus back in on your problem and then you check in with yourself again on your intensity level. So ask yourself on a scale of zero to 10, how intense is the anxiety around weight loss now that you've done the tapping sequence? And you give it a rating and see if you've noticed a shift. Since it's so much easier to see it and follow along rather than listen to it, I created a video just for you. So make sure you download it, eva.fit forward slash tapping, and I'll walk you through it step by step. I figured it would be much easier to do a video than to try to walk you through an actual sequence during this episode, because if you've never seen it done before and I'm saying under the eye, under the nose, you're going to be like, well, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> so make sure you download that quick video and you can use it over and over again and you can change the statements and just kind of follow along with me if that helps you. A question that I often get is, does it matter which hand I use to tap? Do I use one hand or two hands? It actually doesn't matter. I sometimes tap with both of my hands um, and sometimes I tap with my right hand because I'm right handed, but you can use either hand. And it also doesn't matter if you end up switching hands in the middle of your tapping either. Also, when I'm working with clients on EFT, I sometimes sense resistance with the phrase, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I know this can be challenging and it can be triggering for some, especially if you struggle with that, right? And if you struggle with that, that obviously that's something that I would tap further on with you if we were working on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But I've had clients ask, you know, what if I don't deeply and completely love and accept myself? Do I still have to say it? And if you find yourself resisting that phrase, you can always say, I would like to be able to accept myself. Or you can say, I'm doing the best I can if that feels more true to you until we can get you to a place where you can say you love and accept yourself, right? So the setup statement you would say would be, even though I feel so much anxiety around losing weight, I'm doing the best I can. Or even though I'm feeling so much anxiety around losing weight, I would like to be able to accept myself. So you can play around with the phrase as long as it, it makes sense for you. When I work with my private clients, we dig really deep into uncovering core issues. And I use more advanced techniques that take a little bit longer to do during a session. But know that even tapping using the basic recipe that I just went over is effective and you will see results. I'm often asked, how long should I do the tapping sequences? And the answer is, until your intensity level gets as close to zero as possible. So say you start at an eight on the intensity scale. After a few rounds of tapping, your intensity may be down to a three. That's great because now your body isn't in the throes of its fight or flight mode and you can make better choices for yourself. So do it as long as you need to do it to feel that relief. And you'll notice once you start doing it, just how quick and efficient it really is. 
And like any other mindfulness tool, right, it only works if you do it and it only works if you're consistent. So once you've cleared an issue, if you're no longer dealing with it, you don't need to keep tapping on it. You just move on to the next thing that comes up, right? The next anxiety that comes up in your head, the next limiting belief, the next um, thing that's stressing you out. You want to take each individual stressor and break it down to its core and tap on that. And I mean, like there are days when I'll tap on five different things that I'm dealing with. So it's continual and it's a practice. You hear me say this all the time. It's a practice and it's a tool and it only works if you use it. Speaking of private clients, just a quick reminder that I am currently accepting applications for my private coaching as we go into the fall holiday season, because I know from experience that the holiday season can be one of the hardest times of the year to get through without sabotaging yourself. And one of the best gifts that you can give yourself is to not wait until January 1st to finally put yourself first. Okay. I only open up my private coaching spots a few times a year. So the time is now to apply. Just click on the link in my show notes and it'll take you right to my application. And also don't forget to download my free tapping video at www.eva.fit forward slash tapping. I'll talk to you next week. Bye for now. Thanks so much for tuning in this week and trusting that none of this has to be complicated. At the end of the day, I want you to feel empowered to know that you can have the health, the body and the life that you desire. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode and tag me on Instagram while listening at It's Eva Rodriguez so that I can support you along your journey. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.